Social networks are becoming increasingly complicated, particularly on platforms like Alphabet, Meta, and newly rebranded X, all which serve as gatekeepers to many forms of knowledge. Over the years, prominent tech companies have extended the reach outside of the usual spheres, using mergers and acquisitions to gain market power, and more importantly, eliminate any would-be competitors. And despite ongoing concerns about the global economy, the tech industry has not witnessed the pandemic-driven disruptions of the past few years as other industries have. In fact, it's blossomed by 2.4% since 2022, to be exact. Arguably the biggest behemoths, Amazon, Alphabet, and Meta, have a combined value of $2.3 trillion. Apple holds a market value of $2.3 trillion all on its own. But how have they done it? It's easy. All of them have acquired hundreds of companies over the last few decades to propel them to become some of the most influential tech giants in the world. Digital expert and professor Mark Owen Jones has one word for the monopolizing of the tech scene, unhealthy. He said, Meta are acting like other big corporations, acquiring smaller rivals in a bid to hinder competition and dominate innovation. I don't think it's healthy to have such large monopolies, especially when they claim to be part of the free speech apparatus. Here they position themselves as indispensable, yet they dominate the market. But he's not alone in his concerns. In 2022, the US competition and consumer regulator attempted to make Meta sell off Instagram and WhatsApp in conjunction with 46 states, alleging that the Facebook company has accumulated monopoly power through anti-competitive mergers. Despite the strong move, the case was thrown out by judges over lack of evidence. Then comes Elon Musk, who has prompted headline after headline since buying out Twitter and rolling out a whole range of reckless changes. Media technology executive and startup investor Greg Bergida has his own concerns on billionaire tech owners. He asks to what extent are the personal views of the owners being represented in algorithms and community standards. So, with the fate of Elon's X and platforms like Google and Meta hinging on certain, the question continues to loom over government officials and social media users. Can big tech actually be disrupted?